How's it going, YouTube? Um, I got a new case here that just came in. It's a Kingston 32 gig. It's obviously seen better days, and the customer tried to cut it open. Uh, but anyways, plug it into a uh, Linux machine, and it will just say no media detected. It's a good indicator that the controllers will be dead. So uh, we're gonna take it apart. And we're gonna see what's inside. So we got here standard uh, USB thumb drive, uh, two memory chip, TSOPs, uh, and a Fizen controller. So the next step is going to be to remove them and uh, put them in the cradle and start recovering. We're gonna jump ahead here a little bit. Um, I ran into a small problem with the first chip. Uh, while removing it, uh, one of the legs actually broke right off. Uh, so the only way to fix this situation was to solder a tiny wire onto the chip and use a monolith adapter to solder the chip too. Uh, luckily, the second chip came off board easily and a standard adapter was used without soldering. Here is a close-up view of the soldering that I did on the chip. You can see that chip there and the tiny wire going from the chip uh, to the board. Now that we have the chip mounted, uh, we can bring it over to our uh, recovery station uh, where we can plug it into this uh, reader and we can start reading the chip. And here we are in Visual Nano Constructor, we got to start a new case. Uh, we're going to read ID on the chip to see how many crystals it has, there's two crystals. Uh, so now we got to set up configuration. We previously have done this controller, so I already have configuration prepared, which is this one. Uh, now we're going to look at the dump, see if you can read it. Uh, looks about right. So everything is set up and we can start dumping the chips. Um, there's two crystals per chip and there's two chips, so total there's four separate dumps and here we are dumping the each individual crystal Now that the dumping process is complete, uh, we can start defining the data areas, spare areas, ECC areas, uh, that's what you're seeing now. I'm actually skipping a lot in this video because this video would be extremely long. Even though it's sped up, this process is a bit longer than it uh, looks here. In this particular controller, uh, the data is actually scrambled by XO keys. Uh, you can see that once we got the keys correct, the, the data was taking shape in the visual part. You can see those horizontal lines. And uh, now we can start creating a logical image and start looking at the file structure. And the data looks good. There was a few errors here and there on, this, on these chips. Uh, near the end, I actually ran a uh, dump reread where it would go through a BCH and it will try to correct any missing blocks or damaged blocks. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Uh, this was a recovery on a Kingston USB thumb drive with two TSOP chips and a Pfizer controller. Stay tuned for more videos.